We're in Cisco Switch, and we're on version 15, and I'm going to show you how to create an access list for a switch. It's very similar to creating an access list for a, an ASA firewall, and then we're going to apply it towards a, uh, a particular interface. So let's first start by creating the access list. So uh, what you do is, to uh, start this out, we make sure we're in our global configuration mode. All right, and now we're going to go ahead and type in uh, IP access dash list. And then we're going to type extended. So we have extended commands available to us. So it gives you a little bit more than uh, just the regular access list. And we're just going to call this a uh, test. All right, so now that we have our test access list, uh, we need to give it particular parameters. So we're going to say uh, deny. IP and we're going to deny any for uh, we'll just say 100.100.100.0 and what you do is you sort of do backwards on the subnet mask uh, so you, instead of 255 255 255 we do 0 dot 255 dot 255 dot 255 so that's a little bit different than the uh, the firewall all right, so now uh, we've denied the traffic. We have to end up with allowing the traffic. So we put in permit IP any any. If you don't do that, then once you have a deny, then it uh, messes everything up. So you have to permit the IP at the very end. <clears throat> All right, so let's go ahead and exit that and exit that. All right, so now what we did was uh, run the show VLAN command that shows us all of our different VLANs that are in there. So what we can do is we can say uh, that we want to apply this particular uh, access list to one of the VLANs. So all we have to do is type, uh, go back to our uh, global configuration. And so we'll do config space T. And then what we'll do is uh, we will type interface VLAN and I'll just take the 1005 and now we're going to do a, an access group and then we type in after IP dash access group we type in the name test that we just did and then we type in for inbound and now this particular uh, VLAN, anybody attached to that VLAN can now no longer communicate with the 100.100.100.0 network uh, because that is tied to that VLAN. Now if you uh, tie this VLAN to any particular um, switch, uh, switch ports then that's how that gets applied so you no longer will be able to communicate with that particular one. So if you don't apply uh, the VLAN to any ports then this doesn't mean anything. You actually have to uh, create the access list uh, create the access group, bind it to the VLAN like you see here, and then apply it to one of the switch ports, which we'll do in another video.